the last year of this year's flagship is finally here. The Google Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL are here in India and they bring what have been touted to be the best smartphone cameras in the world right now. We have got our Pixel 2 review unit and we were able to take the phone's camera out for a spin and take some sample shots with the device. That gives us a chance to analyze the camera and its output. And we must say, for a phone that's touted to have the best camera in the world today, the Pixel 2 XL has been disappointing in some respects. So before we begin, this is not a review of the Pixel 2 XL. There are a lot of tests that are yet to be performed before we can pass a verdict on this device, including its camera. So let's begin. At the offset, it is important to mention that the Pixel 2 XL has an excellent 12 megapixel camera as far as details are concerned. Whether it's in low light or in daylight conditions, the camera produces noticeably more details than flagships like the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, iPhone 8 Plus and others. However, it is worth noting that the difference between these cameras is minuscule when compared to daylight shots. It all seems nice, right? Here's the problem. The Pixel 2 XL's camera seems to have a distinct issue with white balance. In many of our photos, colors of leaves seem undersaturated, while in indoor shots, the camera sometimes produced a bluish tint on the image. While this hasn't happened in our daylight shots yet, it seems like a regular occurrence in low light and indoor shots. In this image of the Buddha, the Galaxy Note 8 produces an oversaturated photo, but given that it is shot under a yellow incandescent light, the yellow tone is closer to source than the Pixel 2 XL's version. With the Pixel 2 XL, Google's focus is on producing true to source images, something Apple has always excelled at. But like the Pixel 2 XL's display, images seem to be duller than what we have seen so far. For example, in this picture, notice the bluish tint on this photo. The wall on the back is supposed to be white and there is hue all over the photo. Having said that, it is possible that this is a unit specific issue here. And even with the white balance issue, the Pixel 2 XL has a great camera just for its details. We are just a tad skeptical about this being the best camera in the world today. Despite having only one sensor, Google has used its software prowess to add a bokeh mode to this phone. The bokeh mode is carried over to the front camera as well, which is an impressive feat by Google. While the feature did produce some impressive bokehs at times, it also failed to blur the background sometimes. The bokeh or the portrait mode is carried over to the front camera as well, which is an impressive feature by Google. It will take some more time shooting before we can reach a conclusion about the bokeh mode, but for a single sensor, this seems to be doing a good job. So what do you think about this video? Comment down below and don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks for watching.